Hello guys, RGG here and welcome to the second episode of the tutorial series for Minecraft modeling using Cubic Studio. In this episode I'm going to teach you how to save and load your projects so you can use and work them on them later and also how to export them for Minecraft if you're done and you want to see them in game. Um, so basically I made this little house using the, uh, the previous tutorials. I made some squares, some rhombuses and uh, slanted some of them, turned some of them, basically did a lot of stuff. Uh, and as you see, it turned out very, very great. And you can probably hear my voice at that. It's not actually true. It's one of the worst models I'll ever made. And I'm probably not going to use it anyways. So what uh, I'm going to do now is I'm going to save it. Because I probably want to do something with it later. Make it even, even better. So I'm going to do save as. And I'm going to save it tutorial 2. Uh, tutorial two so uh, tutorial episode 2. And then house. Um, and then as a .cubic file. You can't actually change it. but uh, And then I'm going to just press save. Um, there is probably someone here, okay, uh, that's from some previous attempts, <laughs> sorry if, about that. Um, so I'm going to just override it, it's a new file now, and it actually saves in that file that you selected. Um, so it saves whatever you want, you need to browse and then find it. So if I want to open a project, then press open, and it opens probably the same folder, but it's pro uh, if it doesn't, then it's your previous folder will be in here, because it will save your most recent, folder, recent folders. And I'm going to browse all the way down because those are all Cubic Pro model files. And a Cubic model is down here, our Tutorial 2 house. Click, open, and there is our house again. So I can actually create a, a new file. Uh, yes, I will make a new file. It's all empty. And then I'm going to open, go all the way down again. And there we go. Our house is back. It's, it is amazing. You probably haven't guessed that that would happen. Um, so now that I'm um, I'm not done yet, but I would just want to test if it does look good and if I might need to make any changes. So I'm going to click export. And what is export going to do? It's going to put you in, again, the last folder you opened. And then it's going to um, help uh, save your file, uh, save your model here to a .json file, which Minecraft can use to actually portray, yeah, make it happen in the game, basically. Make it, show it in the game. You can do a whole other part of things so you can also do a json a json model but you can also and an optifine model kind of thing if you if you know how that works i personally i don't um and that is a whole other uh, programs that this program is actually fitting with so uh, i'm just going to do a json model file because json is for minecraft uh, keep remembering that and i'm going to save it uh probably right here but i can also put it in my uh, in my uh, roaming folder where my Minecraft is situated and put it in a resource pack which you probably want to do because this does uh, need a resource pack to load so you can put it in a resource pack then um, I'm just going to make uh, save it here in my JSON models as you see I don't have any JSON models right here but whatever uh, and I'm going to call it tutor uh, no I'm going to yeah just do it like so um, I'm going to save it like this and I'm going to get this error message here no texture to export because I have um, I have gotten a texture here, it's a default texture, but I haven't actually saved that texture to a file yet. It's just a default texture. Cubic knows what it is, but Minecraft won't. So uh, I need to save that. And that's what basically what this says. Um, so if I click OK, nothing happens. Uh, your models just get saved. I can show you. I have my folder opened right here. Let me quickly get it for you. Uh, there you go. Um, and as you see, here is my uh, Cubic file and there is my tutorial JSON file as well. So uh, that did work. Uh, no worries, no worries. But what Minecraft will do, it will make that uh, black, purple t uh, kind of texture instead of the texture that you see right here. Uh, you probably have seen that color before. It's, it's, it basically is the texture for an unknown texture. And that's what it will do. Now, if you use Cubic a lot, you're probably going to get um, a lot, uh, very, very annoyed by the fact that you have to browse uh, through your folders every time. And as you saw, I ended up in my JSON, uh, JSON files folder every time. How did I do that? Well, basically, I went to Tools and then Preferences. And there is this Paths tab. And this basically saves your default uh, uh, files uh, saving paths. So if you click Import and you, you, you open the program and then click on Import or Export, um, and I have this path, I paste it in here, and that's basically my default path. And that makes that saves me a whole lot of time browsing through my folders every single time when I create a model. So uh, just a little suggestion here, if you are a frequent user of Cubic or you want to use it frequently, do set those two folders that you're going to use. It's very, very useful. 
Anyways, that's all for this tutorial. I hope you have learned something. I hope I have taught you well. And I hope you enjoyed this little video as well. So I'll see you the next time, guys. Bye!